Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com and in this video we're going to review complex numbers. A complex number takes the standard form A plus BI where A and B are both real numbers and they can be anything positive, negative, zero fractions, decimals, it doesn't matter. They, it, they can be any number. The A is called the real part of the complex number and B is called the imaginary part. So A is the real part and B is the imaginary part. Now let's recall that we can't get a real number out of a square root of a negative number. For example, the square root of 81, uh, there, there is no real number uh, because we can't, can't get a number and square it to equal a negative number. However, we can reduce this and rewrite it as the square root of 81 times the square root of negative 1, which further reduces down to 9 square root of negative 1. At this point, we aren't able to reduce this number any further. And the square root of negative 1 is not a real number, so we need a way to represent it or simply just get rid of it. Many mathematicians much smarter than me came up with the following definition. The square root of negative 1 is equal to i. And i squared is equal to 1. Now this gives us the ability to write the square root of negative 81 as the square root of negative 81 is equal to 9i. So now this illustrates how we can get the imaginary part of a complex number. Now real quickly, the conjugate of a complex number a plus b1, say we're given a complex number a plus b1, the conjugate is the uh, a minus b1. So in other words, it is the original complex number simply with the sign of the imaginary part changed. So just take note of these two signs. This is the original and this is the conjugate. And so to look at a quick example of this, say we have a complex number of 12 minus 5i. The conjugate would simply be 12 plus 5i. So just keep that in the back of your heads as we uh, go through this tutorial or this review. Now let's go on and talk about how to add and subtract complex numbers. The easiest way to add and subtract complex numbers is to think of each complex number as a polynomial and do the addition and subtraction in the same way as you would do it otherwise, imaginary number aside. So for example, let's determine the answer to this operation. Let's say we're given uh, 4 plus 12i minus 3 minus 15i. So you see we have two complex numbers right here. And we simply just want to first add these two, subtract these two, but we can't because they're not like terms. So let's just go through with this operation and see how this plays out. All we need to do is basically let's... Uh, get these parentheses out of the way. So we got 4 plus 12i and now we'll we'll take the negative 1 to get uh, and multiply it through to get rid of these parentheses. So we got minus 3 plus 15i. And at this point all we do is combine the like terms. You know, as we would in any other uh, addition subtraction problem and we got 1 plus 27 I. So what about multiplication? How do we multiply complex numbers? Well, again, 
it's easiest to just think of complex numbers as polynomials so that we can just multiply them out just as we uh, normally would otherwise. So here's an example. Let's determine the answer to the operation 7i times negative 5 plus 2i. All we need to do here is first distribute the 7i through and rewrite so we get negative 35i plus 14i squared. And, uh, and we know that the standard form of a complex number is a plus bi. And we see that we have an i term, but we also have this i squared term. So how do we get rid of this? Well, let's recall back to our, um, our smart mathematician def definitions where they said i squared is equal to negative 1. So all we need to do is take that to note, and we know that this i squared right here is negative 1. So all we need to do is rewrite this equation as negative 14 minus 35i. And now this is in our standard form of a complex number. So how about determining the product of a complex number? How do we do a product? Well, let's say that we have uh, the example is 1 minus 8 i times 1 plus 8 i. So this is once again a product which is also the multiplication of uh, two complex numbers. So when we play this operation out we find that we get 1 plus 64 which is equal 65. And that's that's just simply by doing our standard operations here, we get 1 uh, minus 8i plus 8i um, minus 64 i squared, and we know i squared is equal to negative 1, so that turns out to be 1 plus 64, just like that, which is equal to 65. So this leads us into the next point. Uh, we just got a real number, and why did we do that? There's a friendly general formula for this that will be convenient when it comes to discussion of dividing complex numbers. That is, when we multiply a complex number by its conjugate, we get a, a um, we get that is equal to a squared plus b squared. So for, in other words, let me write this out. Say we have a complex number a plus b i and that's multiplied by its conjugate a minus bi well that's a real number equal to a squared plus b squared so remember that and we just uh, illustrated it right here so when we multiply a complex number by its conjugate again we get a real number and it's given by this equation right here so now let's take a look at how we can make use of this small factoid by working a problem involving division of complex numbers. So now we're going to work on division. How do we divide complex numbers? Say we're given a problem 3 minus i divided by 2 plus 7i. Well, the goal here is to write the operation in our standard form. So we know our standard form is a plus bi. And we know that uh, standard form does not allow us to have any i's in the denominator, so we need to get rid of them altogether. So using the rule of multiplying a complex number by its conjugate gives us a real number in the denominator, and that will uh, it's eventually lead to us satisfying our goals. So. Let's go ahead and uh, multiply by 2 minus 7i to get rid of that complex number in the denominator. Now, this um, once this operation plays out, we get 6 minus 23i plus 7i squared divided by, once again, this right here. The denominator now is going to be a squared plus b squared. So we know a is 2 and b is 7. 
So we got 2 squared plus 7 squared. And now um, we can simplify this because we, we have a definition for i squared. And we get minus 1 minus 23i divided by 53. Or we can also write it as uh, negative 1 over 53 minus 23 over 53i. So that is the answer to that. So let's reinforce this, reinforce this by running through another division problem. Let's say we have, let's say that we have the, uh, an example of 8i divided by 1 plus 2i. So real quickly, we can get rid of the i's in the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate, which is 1 minus 2i. And we know that's so that's going to be equal to a squared plus b squared on the bottom, 1, eight, one squared plus 2 squared. And we know at the top, just uh, distributing the 8 through, we get 8i minus 16i squared. Um, and then that, that eventually comes down to 16 fifths plus 8 fifths i. So that's it for now, guys. That's real quick review of complex numbers, but uh, we just ran through how to add and subtract, how to multiply. We uh, defined what a conjugate is, and we showed you how to divide complex numbers and come to a answer in the standard form of A plus BI. So you guys have a good night. Remember, at any time, you guys can visit engineerintrainingexam.com. Shoot me questions, feedback, uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel, uh, maybe even uh, subscribe to my mailing list, and I can send you the free EIT preparation boot camp. Um, get you guys started on the right track. So that's it for now, guys. You take care, and we'll be talking soon. All right? Bye.